Hi everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is December the 6th and I'm going to be making a twinkly twig star and I'm doing this by tying together some branches from some dead trees that I've foraged from my garden and I'm going to be attaching some twinkly lights to them and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this wonderful piece of wall art or you could just prop it up on the floor if you've got really big branches. You can make it as big or as small as you like and that's the best thing about it. You can make it individual to yourself and you could decorate it um, with like sliced oranges that have been dried or fir cones or moss or anything you like but mine's going to be very simple today and I'm going to show you how to do that. So all we're going to need are five twigs or sticks and the star can be made literally the size that you like so mine is going to be the size of the smallest of these branches here then um, we'll need some secateurs to cut them we'll need some twine to tie them and some scissors to cut the twine. That's, that's all I need. Oh, and some lights. Um, so, and in fact, you don't have to put lights on them at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the shortest of my branches because that will determine the size of my star. It is best to try to make them all the same length because that way the star is going to be the same, uh, an even size. So I'm going to cut this here. I might not be able to cut it with this. I might need to get loppers. Let me get some loppers. So if the branches are quite thick like mine, um, then it's very possible that you're going to need some loppers so that you can cut the stick. I'm so weak. I'm really, really weak. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cut. Okay. And then I'm just going to use my secateurs to sort of tidy up the bits of branch that I don't want. I don't want it to be too tidy and smart, but I feel like these bits are unnecessary. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to take this bit off the end here. So those two are about the same length-ish. I might just cut it off the and here there we go and then I'm going to do the same with these branches and just make them about the same length Looking good. That one's the perfect length. This one's a little bit curved, but that's just going to add some character, I feel. So we'll try and get this about the same length. I'm not sure how this one's going to work, but we will. Oh my goodness. I am. Why am I so weak? <laughs> I am so feeble. <laughs> Loppers to the rescue. Ta-da. I now have five sticks that are about the same length. And what we want to do is to tie two of them together. And I'm literally, what I'm gonna do is tidy up the ends because it's gonna make it difficult. So um, I'm just using, actually I've got really thin garden twine here, but it'll be fine. I'll just wind it around a couple of times, but um, use, any garden twine that you've got. So um, just basically tie a knot so that they're tied together. And then all I'm going to do is wind this twine around. So 
And then when I've wound it round a few times, I think that's enough. I'm just going to tie another knot. Here. I'm actually going to do a slip knot because that way I can put it really tight. But just tie it, you know, however you like. You could tie one end to the other. So I've tied it like this and then I'm just going to cut the ends of the twine off. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with two other sticks. And then this one, I'm just going to tie it on there. I'm not going to bother doing a slip knot because it wasn't particularly good on the last one. There, I've just tied it quite tightly and I'm just chopping the ends off. So then what we need to do is we take one of these sticks and kind of twist it to form a V and then the other one forms another V and we need to interlock the branches. So I'm going under and over and over and under. So this one's gone under this branch and over this branch and this end of this V has gone over this branch and under this branch. And then with the fifth stick, So this one, so this is the two ends of this one here. I'm going to tie this together and then the fifth stick goes across like this, but we'll do that one in a minute. I'm going to tie this together first. And then with this one, so this stick, this stick's gone under, so this one's going to go over and this one has gone over, so this end is going to go under. So you're just sort of weaving it, kind of alternating it. And that's the star there. So then I just need to tie these two ends together. But because this branch is kind of twisted, I just need to make sure, I think I'm going to do this end first. And then this is the final piece. I'm just going to clear this up. There are two different options for lighting your star. I like to use copper wired lights and they're little LED lights and you can either use ones um, that you can plug into a socket and um, those are available or you can use ones with battery packs. Now the only problem I have with the battery pack ones is that it's quite hard to hide the battery pack um, when you're hanging, like I'm going to hang mine up on a wall. I suppose if it's propped up, you know, on a mantelpiece or something, you can hide the battery pack with a garland easily, but I'm gonna hang mine up on a wall and so I want to use the type that I can plug in. So if you want to get something that's similar to mine and you like the look of them, I can link both different kinds, the battery pack ones and these um, ones that get plugged into a socket. I'll link them in the description. So because I'm putting lights on my star, I want to make sure they're spread evenly over the star. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I get to sort of halfway by the time I've covered half the star and that way I'll know that I'm spreading them evenly throughout the star. And because these are copper wired lights it's really easy for me to just start by just winding it around a little bit and attaching it there.
So this is the last bit that I need to do here, but I would quite like to go around these little bits here. And I think that I've got enough left um, because I did try to spread it out. I think I've definitely got enough left. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see whether I've got enough to go around the little cross bits at the bottom. And even if I just go around them once, I think that's enough to make me happy. I don't quite have enough, that's so annoying. So I may have to fiddle with this bit on the end here. So I think that's done. I am really happy with that. And what I'm going to do is then I need to plug this in here. 